We're in Windows 10. I'm going to show you how to get Control-Alt-Delete and other key combinations to work in Windows 10 Remote Desktop. So we're opening up Remote Desktop, and we're going to click Show Options. And from here, we're going to click on Local Resources. And we want to make sure that the keyboard is set to Apply Windows Key Combinations. And you can have it set to the default, which is only when in full screen, but not everybody uses full screen. So we're going to choose Apply Windows Key Combinations on the remote computer. So I'll show you what that means in just one second. So let's go ahead and click Connect, put in our password, and now we're connected into our computer. Let's go ahead and open up Notepad. Now if we do an Alt-Tab, we should see the Alt-Tab work on our remote computer. So we do Alt-Tab, and sure enough, it's here. Just as an example, if we do Minimize, we do Alt-Tab here, we can see all the different uh, programs I have open on my local computer, including my Camtasia recording. All right, so what about Control-Alt-Delete? Well, if I do Control-Alt-Delete here, while we're back in our remote desktop, it ends up doing it on my local computer. It's the only key combination that's not going to work. So what we have to do is, in our remote desktop session, is do a Control-Alt-End. Now we're getting it to work on the remote computer instead of on the local computer. So all we have to do is make sure that we first set it up in remote desktop settings, as I showed you earlier, and then do a Control-Alt and then the End key to get Control-Alt-Delete to work on the remote computer.